Today we're going to be looking at the Mezco Destroy All Monsters set that people love to bitch about for some reason. Right off the bat, we're going to start with Godzilla. He looks really good. I really love the 1968 version of Godzilla. As you can see, he's charcoal. Charcoal gray. Um, I like what they did with the sculpt on this figure. It's really good. Keep in mind, it's very small. These are not big figures. Um, the shot of the chest looks really good. He's gray. You do see a subtle brown highlight to him. His toes look absolutely terrible. I don't know what they were doing with the paint on those toes, but it is what it is. Dorsal plates look really nice. I do like it. Godzilla looks pretty good for what it is. Uh, here's a shot of the tail. Looks fantastically like a tail. And here's him with his a breath effect accessory. We'll get into the accessories later on. Here's Minya. Holy fuck, how does he look scarier? Oh my god, he looks scarier than the Bad Night Movie Monster Series! Looks like he has an alien second jaw coming out of his mouth! He looks awful! Oh god! He's actually a pretty cool figure. I like how I didn't realize that the arm was popping out. That's pretty cool. Minya with his breath effect. Mothra looks pretty good. Um, she looks like a turd. Um... She's nice and sculpted with some good detail and good paint. She looks really good. She also looks like a giant turd. Um, here's her with her web effect. The turd with web. Here's Angiris looking good. Angiris doesn't look terrible. I know he's a point of contention among the fan base, but they're all stupid and don't know what they're talking about. He looks good. I like how Angiris looks. Uh, the teeth are painted fine for the size. People forget about the size. The back plates look really good. And Gears looks really good. I'm happy with how he looks. And then you get on to Baragon looking really good as well. Baragon's got nice detailing and paint on him. I actually really enjoy how Baragon looks. I'm, I don't, they, they like put 110% into him. He does have a weird, like, splotch on his face, which is odd, but it is what it is. Uh, here's a shot of his ass. Uh, but yeah, Baragon's pretty good looking. Uh, his tail, again, looks really good. Everything on him looks pretty good. Gorosaurus is the unsung hero of this set. Gorosaurus is the highlight. He looks absolutely fucking magnificent. People were bitching about him, and I don't understand why. He looks great. From every angle, Gorosaurus looks fantastic. Even the paint on the toes. Oh, the Gorosaurus toes. Fantastic. The blue on the back. Come on. He works. Stop bitching, people. He fucking, he's awesome. He has some paint splotch on his back, but you know what? You can get over it. Oh my god, Rodan's looking a little sus there. Uh, looking fantastic, Rodan. God, they nailed it with this figure. He shot at the toes. He looks really good for what he is. The giant pterodactyl's hard to mess up. Here's him on his stand, shot from his back. He looks like Rodan. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. They all have peg holes, which is nice. They all come with stands as well. Oh, the king, the Ghidorah, or Ghidra, whatever. Start with the middle head. He looks fantastic. All three heads are almost identical in every conceivable way. Looking great, looking sharp. Absolutely fantastic. I, I love Ghidra. Here's him with his electricity beams, his gravity beams, whatever you call them. He looks great. Ghidra is a knock out of the park home run they fucking nailed this fucking guy he looks great listen he's fucking italian you know what i mean ghidra absolutely great look at the feet they're gold gold feet with the gold toes oh oh gold toes oh the gold toes look at the tails just fucking look at them look at them oh oh yeah, baby. The tails look absolutely fantastic. Here's all the figures with all their accessories just laying about. They come with a shit ton. 
So here's where I have to recommend or not recommend these figures. Listen, there's two sets. We're missing the last chunk. We're missing Manda, Kumanga, and Varan. And then you could throw in a fourth. Mezco, I don't think they're going to be fucking doing it, which is a shame. So we don't have a full set here. It's really disappointing. But what I can say is Mezco absolutely nailed it for the price. 70 bucks, two waves. Each wave came with four figures with accessories and alternate parts. I Listen, I highly fucking recommend these figures. Are they five out of five? Not necessarily. I would definitely give them a four out of five. Um, for the size, it's great. The articulation, they're the five points line for a reason. They're very limited on the articulation. Fine, whatever. And the size, I, unfortunately, I really do feel like this is the best we're going to get. Unless you want to go collect X+. Plus. And yeah, yeah, go spend a shit ton of money for those figures. I like what Mezco did here. I think 140, 150 bucks for both sets around there. 160. Yeah, it's good. I highly recommend it. Four out of five. Solid four out of five. Definitely go buy it. Mezco ain't making these figures anymore. You better get on it. And uh, here's your size comparison. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you see here, maybe give me a subscribe. Maybe a notification bell ring. Alright, go away.